Hello fellow nerds, I hope you're doing really really well, I'm Machine Daniel. In this video I'm going to tell you all about some changes that Twitch have made to Stream Manager which just allow you a lot more flexibility over kind of what you're viewing if you do use Stream Manager. Now Stream Manager, if you didn't know, was available in Twitch. I'll show you the URL later in the video and it basically allows you to pull in different elements that tells you information all about your stream including things like the chat and also the events that are happening like bits and subscribers and things like that. You can also directly change things about your stream as well for example stream titles the game and various other things there's a load more different kind of like widgets that you can pull in drag and resize on this and twitch have just released this tweet showing there's going to be some changes to this it basically means you're able to have something like five different profiles and you can save preset profiles for different situations i think that these are going to be pretty useful they're particularly useful for people that log in and out of twitch or they reset their caching every single time they go on their browser for example chrome so basically, previously, the way that it would work is that you would go onto your stream manager and it would have a default view. And if you have a resetted cache each time you turn off your browser, the view would literally just reset every single time and you'd have to reset it. Unless, of course, you have caching on and cookies, in which case it would remember your layout, but you only had one layout. Twitch have been adding a load more widgets to this over the course of the last year. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the profiles, how you can change them, switching between the different profiles and things like that. It should be a pretty quick, straightforward video, but something worthwhile knowing, particularly if you having the caching problem and having to reset the view and layout, whatever. Yeah, anyway, if you do find it useful, hit the like. I'd appreciate if you sub to the channel. Feel free to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Come say hi. Come tell me all about your, your life and the weather. Talk to me about the weather. Okay, so here we are in Stream Manager at the moment. Here's the URL. It's like dashboard.twitch.tv forward slash you forward slash your username forward slash stream dash manager we can also get to it through this menu here and you'll see on the left hand side the created dashboard stream manager you can also pop this to the side there if you want the smaller version of it just gives you a little bit more room if you're not already using stream manager and you've got a pc that can run multiple monitors and can sustainably run this i would highly recommend running it first of all you can place the chat wherever you want to place it on the screen which obviously makes a big difference so you can change the components and of course the size of those components, for example, like that, allowing you to see more of the chat and see these elements still in a smaller style. But you can define this precisely how you want to view it and you can remove information that you're not bothered with or add in information that you are bothered with. So the way that you would edit stuff is you can grab the headers and just literally drag them and move them around. You can also just grab the sides and adjust the sizing of them, including the widgets at the top. For example, you may want to move your subscribers to one of these sides here. When you make a change, this panel on the right hand side on desktop will appear and you're able to then add or remove widgets using this here and you can simply grab drag and drop the new panels wherever you want to drop them for example this is the edit stream information one i don't actually want that there's some pretty cool stuff and i'll just do a quick rundown of the different widgets that you've got here first of all you've got all the informational widgets like followers views subscribers sub points pre-roll adverts the pre-roll adverts in particular if you've not got that one in view is really really useful because there's a setting within twitch that shows you how much pre-roll you've got left if you didn't know about pre-rolls there's an option within twitch where you can turn off pre-rolls for new viewers so a new viewer coming to your stream is more likely to stick around it's something like two-thirds of people will stay and one third will bounce away if you have pre-roll on you remove that chance and that likelihood or at least lower the likelihood if you don't have pre-rolls on which means someone's likely to stay around longer and then get to know you a little bit more before the adverts kind of make them go away if that makes sense but having pre-rolls on means when you run an advert there's a certain amount of time that you've got where pre-rolls will be turned off for and then when those adverts run out you then need to run another advert to get rid of those pre-rolls it's a really really good function but there's a widget here which will time and show you that countdown and show you when you need to run more adverts so twitch are improving the advert side of things here we've got stream previews so this is information about the stream itself including the title predictions this was added a few months ago so you can start predictions from this section the stream health itself like the bit rate and the frames per second that you're getting all rewards requests for affiliates and partners so this is like a queue you've then got quick actions like edit stream run an advert run sound alerts any extensions that you've got prime subscription stuff starting predictions polls all that kind of stuff then you've got an activity feed obviously this is quite an important part of it this activity feed is kind of the acknowledgements that you need to give on your stream where 
when people, for example, might follow you or give you bits or subscribers or whatever. Then we get into the chat panel itself here. Obviously, that's pretty self-explanatory. But then there's some other stuff you can add here, like to see a list of people that are hosting you, any unban requests, auto mod queue for any chat messages that need auto modding. A list of active mods is pretty useful, particularly for those people medium to large size streamers that want to make sure that they've got mod coverage, any mod actions and edit stream information. But you can also do that from the quick actions here. So they're the basics of Stream Manager, including a number of different changes they've made anyway within the last few months. The biggest change they've made and the one that they announced just yesterday was this Stream Manager layout. You can now drop down this box here. See, I've got my main stream layout. We can now rename the profile here to allow you the opportunity to rename it. You've also got the option here to create a new layout. Now, when you click create new layout, it will create a layout based on the existing layout that you've got. So it makes a duplicate of the current layout. We can call this test two. Save that. We now have a test layout I was playing with earlier, the one that we've just made test two, and then my base layout. So we can make changes to test two here. For example, if I want to just reduce the size of the chat, I want to add uh, active mods at the bottom here. I still want to see more of my chat than the mods well let's just say i want to do that actually pull this in a little bit further to see more of the chat if i now click save on that it'll save the layout onto test two and i can switch to my main profile or my test two profile if i just want to see which mods are available now there's a few different ways that you could use this you could try and fit loads of information on one stream manager panel so that you've always got it in view and you can always see all information another way of looking at this is that you could have a stream specific information that you need there and then all the time for example chat and the activity feed and then you could set up another profile which then has sort of quick actions stream health and changes to your stream title and things like that that's the way i'm probably going to be intending on using Using this so i'm going to rename this like edit stream info and then i'll have another one which is like stream health and they're just informational ones that i can quickly just switch to and then switch back to the main layout so this is really really useful particularly if you put 10 or 20 minutes of time into playing around with this and creating the profiles that are going to be useful for you so there you go. It's a really quick, simple quality of life update from Twitch. It was added just yesterday. It's nice that they're trying to improve these things as they go along, Twitch. Once again, if you found it useful, hit the like. Feel free to sub to the channel. And guys, have a wonderful day. Take care.